Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about what is sprint. So, if your project is following agile methodology, then they may be following one of the methods, maybe Kanban or Scrum. If your project is following Scrum methodology, then in that case, they will be following sprint. Okay, sprint is nothing but a short end timeline. Okay, it could be uh, one weeks, two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks. Okay, depending upon each project, the time cycle of uh, sprint may differ, and your project may some pro some uh, projects may have two week sprint cycle, and some projects may have four weeks sprint. Sp four week sprint cycle so what happens is in the sprint within the time period the team has to develop the product test the product and release the product to production that is sprint okay so everything has to be done in the time frame you need to develop the product test the product and release the product to production within that one week or two week or three week or four four weeks depending upon which sprint cycle your project has chosen. The most common used sprint cycle is two weeks. This is the uh, most commonly used, but it could be one week, two week, three weeks or four weeks. Okay. But the most popular ones is two week sprint cycle. So it's very short term within that two week uh, time frame, the developer has to develop the product, the tester has to test the product and the UAT needs to be done, um, that is the user acceptance testing from the business owners, that testing also needs to be done within the two weeks and the product has to go live to production environment in the two weeks, okay. So it's like repeated cycle. So after two weeks, again you will be taking a feature and then you will develop that feature, then test the feature and then again you will uh, do the UAT testing and then you will be moving that uh, code to production. Then again, after uh, after completing of that feature, again for the next sprint, again you will develop it, test it, do the UAD testing, and uh, move the code to production. So it, sprint is nothing but it's a time frame where this repeated, okay, all the four phases, development testing, user acceptance testing, and then deployment, all these four phases will happen in the, repeatedly within that time frame, okay. So uh, let's go by one by one. Uh, gathering requirements or design or development. So you may be thinking whether gathering requirements also will happen in the, in the two week time. No. So what happens is before your sprint starts, okay, before your two weeks time starts, the business analyst will gather the requirements and will uh, document all the requirements um, separately. And uh, we will be doing something called sprint planning before your sprint time starts. So in that sprint planning, we will decide like which uh, which feature we are going to develop for that particular sprint, okay? So let's say from March 1st, okay? So from March 1st, uh, your sprint cycle starts. So what will you do? So uh, we have some time now, right? Three to four days or two days. Now sprint planning meeting will happen and the business analyst would have uh, gathered the requirements way ahead of sprint planning meeting. So they will uh, gather the requirements, they'll document the requirements and during that sprint planning meeting, only that time, right, you will decide, okay, for the next sprint, uh, like what are the features or what are the products we are going to develop. So, okay, that will happen on in the sprint planning meeting. And then once the sprint planning meeting is completed, uh, then the sprint will begin, okay. So this is something, don't think that the requirement gathering for that sprint will happen within that two weeks. No, requirement gathering will happen. Designing will happen uh, prior to your sprint. But during that sprint time, okay, that two weeks, three weeks or four weeks, development, testing and deployment, okay, develop, de uh, developing the product, testing the product, user acceptance testing and deploying the code to production. Okay, only these four things will happen in, during the sprint time. There is a difference in the interview if they ask you where, what is a sprint, okay, you need to clearly tell them gathering the requirements, design all is separate time, okay. And then once you gather the requirements and then complete the design and then you document everything and then uh, once every requirement is very clear, only then you are going to pick up that feature and then develop in that particular time frame, okay. So this is also a very important question. 
so in the interview if they ask what is sprint uh tell me the timeline for sprint you need to say that uh my project if my project is following scrum methodology okay then sprint is the uh, timeline okay it could be 2 weeks 3 weeks or 4 weeks and within that timeline the feature is developed tested and then deployed in production okay that is sprint timeline and then um, requirement gathering sessions elicitation sessions and then design sessions will happen before the sprint planning meeting okay so i will tell i will make a video of what will happen in the sprint man, uh, planning uh, meeting and what documents you need to create during sprint planning meeting and uh, what are the terminologies we use in sprint planning meeting that will be a separate video for now you need to uh, answer to them saying that sprint is a time frame within that short period of time uh, we are completing all the work okay that's sprint thank you for watching